right, YouTubers, another unboxing video. In this box, I should have two cell phones. One is the Samsung J3, and the other should be the LG Fiesta 2. These are uh, from Total Wireless, courtesy of Total Wireless. I paid uh, nothing for the phones. Um, Though I did have to pay for the phone plan, which is in here. Um, but uh, that's another story. So let's go ahead and get the box open. I'm going to only unbox one of the cell phones in this video and save that for another video. Um, and uh, this also will not be really go heavy into details on the features. Um, I'm going to save that for another video. Almost feels like Christmas around here. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Okay, so the thirty-five dollar uh, phone plan, five gigs. This is one of the best deals out there. Um, definitely crushes most of the competition for a single line. And if you have multiple lines, another story. All right. First phone out of the box, the LG Fiesta LTE. This is the one that I'm going to actually unbox in this video in entirety. Um, one thing that's kind of interesting, they give you that with the 5 gigs and then it says $35 plan now with 6 gigs only at Walmart. So if you get your card at Walmart, you can get uh, that deal. Here is two slips for um, basically 30 day money back guarantee device and accessories only <clears throat> so if I have any problems you can either go to the website or call those phone numbers helps if I center it on the picture huh? alright second phone in here and then we'll get the box out of the way this is the Galaxy J3 Luna Pro I uh, previously did the J7 this is the uh, the smaller brother of it, and this is will be this is the one I'm going to do a different review on. This one's going to get activated soon, and so we will uh, go into full detail of that in another video. Sorry. All right, so let's get our Fiesta 2 centered on the on the screen there. And we're going to open this up, but uh, first let's look at the box. This is being shot in 4K, so hopefully uh, with the amount of detail and resolution, you should be able to actually read this from the comfort of your big screen TV. There is uh, the phone plans, which uh, you're obviously probably pretty familiar with. I currently uh, only use the single line, but... Uh, trying to get the whole family to switch over so we're going to go two three and then my papa uh, will end up getting four that's going to drop this phone plan down considerably had quite a few um, just ridiculous bills if you ask me from all the phones on different phone plans and it's time to consolidate so we're going to do that uh, let's see what was on the back Nothing really exciting on the back. So let's get this open. I am actually excited about this one because I believe this one will allow hot spotting right out of the box. So with the phone plan that is. And that is something that um, took me back to Straight Talk because I have an LG phone that will um, will allow me to hotspot right out of the box. I've found that a lot of the Total Wireless phones do not, and that's something I need right now with my YouTube channel. All right, so of course you get one of these guys in there. That gives you your uh, IMEI and uh, ESN uh, SIM card number. So that's kind of important, but not everybody in America needs to see what there 
Want the mug, get the most, so more uh, some propaganda stuff. Nothing exciting there. Here's the little service guide. So, um, one of the reasons I'm not going to do the um, in depth review is because I really need to get familiar with this phone. Um, I think it shortchanges people when they do the reviews and they haven't even um, got service for the phone. So, my opinion, if you ain't got service for it, you can't really tell me squat. Um, the other stuff, you know, is pretty common to Android that most people show, so I don't really want to see that. I do want to see the unboxing video, see what I got. So, um, pretty darn big screen in this, hence one of the reasons I was interested in this phone. Um, five and a half inch screen so we're gonna have to looks like we gotta do a little more cutting no nope, don't have to do any more cutting so let me get this out get the phone out I'm gonna go grab um, let me see if I have another phone down here to compare it to All right, luckily we have a couple phones. Hopefully I'll remember to edit that out. If not, I apologize. Here's the ZTE Max, which is either 5.5 or 5.7. There's your J3 that uh, I actually have an extra one of those. <laughs> um, this is a uh, straight talk one though. So um, you can see the, the size difference there. In case you did tune into this video to see the J3, um, you're actually seeing a J3 in comparison. All right, so I've done reviews on this one. If you were interested in the ZTE, and there will be a full in-depth review of that. All right, so here is the phone. It actually feels like the batteries are already in there, which would be odd that they would do that. Um, let me get the little screen protector off here. I can do that. Put that in the box. Let's see what's in here. So yeah, um, move that over. So taking the stuff out of the box, here is a uh, a quick start guide. Love those quick start guides. This one is uh, very small, and uh, this side's in Spanish. Yo hablo espanol, right? Um, Google account set up. So nothing exciting here. Do not, a oh, here's something. This is important. Do not attempt to remove the back cover. The device is a non-removable battery. Holy sh, you know what. So that, that actually is kind of a strike against this phone, people. I do not like when you can't replace your battery. Um, so LG's got you know nice uh, nice looking let me cut this off nice looking charger we may have to plug this phone in we'll see if it's dead if I can get this thing open this is kind of a nice looking uh, streamlined version instead of the big old square looking ones that everybody has. And it'd be nice if they'd give you a super long cable um, instead of the short ones. Long is good. Right. I'm in the middle of a video. Get ready for breakfast. These people are so rude around here, I swear. Wow, that's a nice long cord. Nice long cord. All right, so we're going to fire up the uh, the phone and give you an idea how long it takes. Then we'll look at some we'll look at some basic features. See if that that'll fire up. In the meantime, we'll do a little house cleaning.
All right, there's the old track screen thing there, which uh, almost kind of embarrasses you when you open that up for the first time. So while we've got time, this phone um, should be running on the Android 7.0. That is a five and a half inch screen, which I mentioned earlier. The battery talk time is 28 hours. I think that's a little less than the LG Stylo 3, which I think is like 31 hours. So that's kind of um, not as good. It's obviously going to be Wi-Fi capable. Um, unlike the first Fiesta, this one has uh, 16 gigs of internal memory, so that's nice. But it will need a micro SD card. Um, so we'll figure out where that goes when this thing gets ready and up. 13 megapixel camera, which um, kind of a joke in these. These cameras are not that good. Um, it's an HD screen. Which, uh, you know, it's also kind of a bummer to have a screen this big. Obviously it does GPS, Bluetooth, all that, all that stuff. Um, Alright, so English, yeah. So we're not going to set up the Wi-Fi right now. Skip anyway. I just want to get to the main screens here, people. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. And voila. Wow, that actually looks pretty nice. Um, looks better than the LG Stylo 3 that I have, even though the LG Stylo 4 is coming out. So the thing that I cared about is when you pull down on here, is there a built-in hotspot? And there is. So when I do my in-depth review, we will actually have service to this phone, and I will be able to tell you if that hotspot works right out the box, which is... Uh, really the reason I, I got this phone. Um, I think everything else is pretty basic. The camera, just like you would expect from these. They don't, they don't spend a whole lot of time on the uh, camera stuff. Settings wise, video resolution still only full HD or HD, which isn't anything great. Photo size, um, you know, it has all these big megapixels, but the pictures don't come out that great. At least on the LG Stylo 3. So, I'm going to take a photo here, and we'll take a look at it. See if it looks anything like the actual counter. And it looks all right, I guess. Maybe it is a little better than LG Style 3, hopefully. Other settings, like dynamic range, choose shutter. So basic, basic phone settings. And then there's a uh, second camera. So you can see what we're filming with there. Panasonic FZ80. as I get out of the way. All right, so look forward to the next video for a more in-depth uh, review of those features. Let's talk about the outside. As we said, the battery is built into it. Speaker appears to be on the back, which is a negative. Um, sound is uh, going to be pointed away from you, especially when you do speakerphone. And the feel of it is, is really nice, actually. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the feel of this. So um, I think the feel overall is pretty nice. I think I'm going to be happy with it. It's got a nice design to it. Feels pretty good in my hand. Um, so... I'll let you know, though, in the next video after I've used it for a while. Thank you for checking out my video.
Please like, please subscribe.